everyone, I'm your host Jackie Watson. I'm at the Beverly Wilshire Hotel where the power of the entertainment industry joined forces for a great cause called Changing Lives and Creating Cures. Ladies and gentlemen, Sheryl Crow is with us. organization well you know I'm a cancer survivor myself heard, yeah. yeah thyroid cancer so these these guys are geniuses these docs at USC I'm a kidney cancer survivor and I had my surgery uh, when I was 36 years old here at USC and dr. Gill who we're honoring tonight as well was the doctor who did it and uh, he did such an amazing job he performed an operation on me five years that ago that uh, I may not be standing here if he didn't do his job well and it's, it's a lifesaver. It's a world-class place, and it's, we're lucky to have it right here in Los Angeles. You know, I have friends in the Midwest and other parts of the country where they don't have the access to these kind of doctors and this kind of medicine. So it's a godsend to be able to live here, and, you know, you've got the best people in the world literally right down the street. So thank you very much. USC is an incredible university. The Urology Institute at USC is one of the best in the world. Well, what we do is cutting-edge robotics. What we do is if there is cancer in an organ, we remove the cancer, we save the rest of the organ. What we do is if the cancer has spread outside the organ, then we can go after it with personalized treatments that really kill the can target the cancer cells and not necessarily hurt the rest of the person. To minimize side effects, they're leaders in treating cancer. I'm so happy to be here to support the work because this is the real deal. As a doctor, do you have any tip for all our viewers how they could uh, prevent cancer? I would just say anything you do in life, what you eat, how much you exercise, your outlook on the world, all of those things contribute to great health. But the thing is, if you ever get into some sort of health problem, be strong, be positive, know that you're going to beat it, and go and do it. So faith. Faith is good. I always believe that nutrition is a great way to fortify your experience of going through cancer. You're trying to fight uh, the disease. And um, I also tell cancer, people who are going through cancer treatment, to try to keep your life as normal. Do the normal things in your life that you can if you're a runner, if you ride horses, uh, whatever it is that you do that makes you feel like you're still a normal person because everything else is going to feel like it's out of control. Well, you know, obviously every kind of cancer has a different story behind it. But in a general way, if you keep your body fat low, if you eat healthfully with a lot of fruits and vegetables of all kinds, Jesus. and exactly, and you exercise, these are, are the most important things. Obviously, you don't want to smoke and you don't want to do those things. Yeah, kale, cilantro, alkaline in your body, so it's not so acidic. You know, I have to tell you a secret. All right. This morning, I went to see my boss, Pascal Fortuna, at Passion Production, and I told her, listen, if you don't let me interview tonight, Mr. Jeleno, I quit. And she said, fine, go ahead. Well, there you go. That's a, <laughs> it's good to have that kind of power.